Doing something challenging definitely helps your mojo. I'm Lauren Wellington and I'm an entrepreneur that educates people to realize their business mojo. So today I want to talk about incorporating some challenging activity into your life to help build up your mojo. I went on a hike, as you know from the other videos, if you haven't seen those, check them out, but I went on a hike with a friend today, and the hike was difficult. It was a lot of incline on that hike. I really don't move my body that much, and so I was definitely huffing and puffing and stopping along the way, but I did it. I did all 4.4 miles of it. Did it, and I feel good about myself that I did it. And that adds to my mojo. And so, I would encourage you, or the lesson that I want to share with you today and encourage you to do is find little challenges that you can incorporate into your life that you can achieve that will make you feel good. Sometimes those challenges require, you know, somebody to, someone to, for you to do it with. So for example, today's hike, I did that with a friend. If I was to have done it by myself, I would have not done the whole hike. I would have turned around at some point and just got in the car and came home. But the point is, that I did it and I had someone there to hold me accountable which is the sub point the bigger thing is I picked a small win something that was small and achievable that I could now incorporate into my feelings about myself the, that will be that will be able to be carried over into other challenges and other tasks that I need to do that maybe require a little bit more gumption a little more oomph maybe they're mundane and I just got to push through it but now that I know that I could do that then that means that I can do that and I want you to really understand don't discount the little wins don't put them to the side and don't um, delay the gratification now you might not be able to throw a party for every single thing that you accomplish but you definitely can Take in that win and make it a part of who you are. Um, there's a practice that I do often. It's I got it from a book called Simple Abundance, and it's a gratitude journal. And so I do a lot more of like achievements than gratitude. It's not saying that I don't list down the things that I'm grateful for and the blessings that I have in my life, but I also write down my achievements. You know, today I did and or today I accomplished and though that's really important too because when I go back and look on just you know a few months back if I need to I have something quick referenced to help remind me of what I have done what I'm capable of how awesome I am and I have that record right there black and white on paper to show me not to show other people but to show me so when I walk into a situation that is foreign different uncomfortable frustrating I know that I can do it because I've already used that muscles and that skill and that mojo before so I know I can do it again so I wanted to leave that with you leave that with you today is always try to encourage something challenging make it small make it like bite size make it tiny but encourage them, encourage you to incorporate something that's challenging into your life. Do it, knock it out, achieve it, and then incorporate that into who you are. Keep record of it. So then that way it adds to your mojo. And the bigger your mojo is, the more able, the more able, the bigger your mojo, the bigger your capacity to get some stuff done. Yeah, the bigger your mojo, the bigger your capacity to get stuff done. And the one way you can add to your mojo is little challenges, achieving, accomplishing, realizing, doing little challenges into your life daily. All right, I hope that helps. If you find the video helpful, definitely comment below or share it with someone else. If you find the channel helpful, please subscribe. And until next time, all right, bye.